Hello, everyone. Uh, I hope you can see the screen and hear me well. Uh, so, okay. Um, so, welcome to our um, presentation. Uh, I'm Chao Li, and uh, research associates in the Chair of Architectural Informatics, uh, uh, Technical University of Munich. Um, so, um, recent years, um, there have been many practices uh, for additive manufacturing in construction. For instance, the high-res slab produced by ETH Zurich claims that it saves approximately 70 percentage of material compared to the conventional uh, casting method. The mesh company is able to manufacture free-form reinforcement structure with robotic arms. Um, the first 3D printed residential building in Germany was finished in last summer. And the wall panels with uh, textile reinforcements has also been prefabricated and then assembled on site. The TRR277 project funded by German Research Foundation is dedicated to explore the EM technologies in construction from three perspectives, uh, namely the material and processes, um, computational modeling and process control, and then the design and construction. However, when we are talking to the additive manufacturing in architectural design, challenges do exist. The complicated AM knowledge includes the processes by their own and the machine system, uh, the uh, regulations and the function optimizations, etc. During the early stages, the knowledge of AM are usually not well informed, but the decisions need to be made for suitable manufacturing methods. And how can we support the architects? As you know, the logic-based knowledge representation has been recognized as a symbolic top-down manner in the paradigm of artificial intelligence. Using the uh, semantic web technology stack, the knowledge can be formalized with the web ontology language of all accessors through the query language of Sparkle. Uh, it is also possible to exchange different rules using the unified rule exchange format. Our research goal is to establish a design decision support system based on the formal, uh, formal knowledge in the BIM environment um, to assist the architects and engineers to choose suitable AI methods. In order to achieve that, we formalize the explicit knowledge of additive manufacturing in forms of ontologies and rules. Um, such that the architects and engineers are informed of the capabilities and limitations of AI methods uh, and timely design adaptations are enabled. Afterwards, the decisions of appropriate AI methods are supported by the upcoming multi-criteria decision-making methods. Uh, developments of the ontology follows the workflow of specification, uh, knowledge acquisition, formalization, conceptualization, um, um, and uh, validation. As to specification, a set of competence questions are asked to clarify the scope and function of the um, ontology. Activities in the uh, knowledge formalization um, are uh, reviewing uh, the bibliography and conducting semi-structured interviews and the AMC processes parameters, boundary conditions, et cetera, uh, are then conceptualized in the conceptualization step. Afterwards, uh, the formalization step encodes the con concepts and relations using uh, the OR language. The rest competence and questions in the specification step are then answered uh, during validation. Up to now, we formalized several modular ontologies and imported them to build the AMC knowledge base. Um, basically, the parameters describe the properties of the materials and machine systems, which are further important into the building components and AMC methods. Um, here we have the brief view of the um, taxonomy of the knowledge base. Um, we can see that um, the AMC processes, the materials, and the boundary conditions, functions, etc., are embodied in this ontology. Um, relations 
are created to link the building components properties to the AN methods. The metrics for this ontology uh, present that we have a number of classes and properties. On top of the knowledge base, the rules uh, can be applied to detect the manufacturability of building components, uh, many by comparing the processes on the conditions with detected features from the design. For instance, if the manufacturing feature exceeds the limits of one AI method, we assert that uh, such a building components not manufacturable by this method. Similarly, other rules, including the logistics and the construction plan can also apply. Uh, here's the workflow of assessing the building components manufacturability. In the beam environment, extraction of semantic information is relatively straightforward, um, but to the geometric features such as overhands, minimum volume, bonding boxes, curvatures, etc., requires the tailored algorithms. Uh, until now, we kind of uh, approximated the overhands and calculate the vertical minimum volume bonding boxes. Uh, afterwards, the detective features as well as the semantic information are stated in the local replica of the knowledge base. Inferences are enabled by embedded reasoner compatible with all and swore rules. And in the end, the feedbacks are visualized in the bin of the tool. The illustrated technology uh, framework presents the four major components, uh, namely they are the AMC knowledge base, uh, the toolkit on the BIM authoring tool, uh, remote procedural core, and the portal of the uh, design decision support system, where the palette reasoner is embedded for inference capabilities. Accordingly, we establish the prototype. The architects can select the building components, and then the system extracts the manufacturing feature and the semantics, presenting them on the design decision support portal. Uh, afterwards, the architects evaluates the building components material, building spaces, and geometry components uh, regarding the individual AMC methods. Applicability, it then informs, and architects can visualize it back in the beam authoring tool. Um, so here is the video. A first communica uh, communication channel is established and uh, the features are extracted and computed. And the uh, architects can select uh, the, um, yeah, can select the, build, uh, the AI methods for evaluation. And then they will be informed of the uh, conformities and visualize it back in the in Mozart. Yes. Um, in the future work, uh, we will to, uh, we would like to enhance the uh, ontology, uh, basically by introducing the upper ontologies um, and um, align our ontology to um, an, an IFCO. Uh, which is the ontological version of the IFC data schema. Also, we would like to extend the functionalities uh, by um, enabling the automatic workspace generation from the ontology. And we want to uh, detect more features and present them for the better support. Okay, so uh, this is all for my presentation. Thank you.